Okay, let me show you the method of bed leveling, which I consider as only proper method to do the leveling. Why am I saying that? Uh, let's cl clear some things up. First of all, when you auto home your machine, uh, it thinks that nozzle is at height of zero. That means uh, it should touch your bed. It must not have any gap between them. Uh, when you start printing your first layer, it goes up for amount of your uh, first layer thickness, then it starts printing. Therefore, if you're just using, if you're just using the paper method, uh, you will be off by approximately 0 0.1 millimeter because that is the thickness of the paper. Therefore, I use this method. Uh, for this purpose, I will use a Creality Scraper. Later, I can show you how to do it with this lighter Zippo or anything metallic which you can, which you can determine its a thickness. First of all, let's preheat up uh, the bed and the nozzle because uh, metal shrinks and expands. Uh, when temperature changes. Uh, after that, you can retract just a little bit of plastic to prevent oozing uh, from the nozzle while you are uh, leveling your bed, because nozzle has to be clean for this to work properly. Uh, the main difference between mine and stock Ender 3 is the build plate. I have the stock one here, but, uh, but I don't use it because uh, my bed was dipped. Therefore, I put some aluminum foil in the middle uh, before I got this glass. This is just a regular glass for picture frames. It costed maybe two to three US dollars for me. Uh, it's four millimeter thick. Okay, let's begin this. It's almost to exact temperature. I will retract a bit plastic to prevent oozing. I will lift the axis just to clean my nozzle. Be gentle not to damage your nozzle. Usually I do this with fingers which I wouldn't recommend you to do it. Okay. Now I will just auto home my printer. It thinks it's at Z axis value zero. Now I will take this scraper, which I measured to be 0 0.7 millimeters. It's just Creality scraper, which comes with this printer. Now I go to motion, move axis, and I will raise it by 0 0.7 millimeters to match this thickness. If you're doing this with a paper, match the thickness of your paper, it's 0 0.1 approximately. Now, uh, when a nozzle is up, uh, the benefit of this method uh, is that you can't scrape your bed. Uh, and if you're using something thicker, the possibility of scraping your bed with a nozzle is much less. Okay, now we'll go to four corners. First corner, this one. Uh, is approximately 30 on X and 30 on Y. Now I'll go to that coordinate. Okay. Now I will place the scraper under the nozzle. If it can't fit under, use your knob to adjust it, to push it down. And when you can slide it in, rotate your knob till the point you start feeling just a little bit of resistance. That means now this part of the printing, pr printing bed is 0 0.7 millimeters, which he think he's on. When we finish with this point, we can move to the other one. The next one can be same on Y, just move X to 200. I will remove this old purge line. Now, do the same, slide it under, if you can't slide it under, just uh, push your knob to lower your bed, now raise it slowly, till the moment you can, till the moment you can feel some resistance. This should be good here, let's move to the next point, 
Motion, move axis. Now I will bring Y to 200. So this one is 30, 30, this one is uh, 30, 200, this one is 200, 200, and that one will be uh, 230. Okay, place it under. Just make sure you're not resting your scraper on the display. That can mess up your leveling. I will move it until I feel slight resistance. Okay, this should be fine. And let's go to the last point. Just go back from X to 30. I will slide it under. Okay, I'm a bit cl too close here. I'll push the bed down. Now this should be fine. If I did everything correctly, my first layer should be fine. I can use this same method with my lighter. How to do that? The main thing is to know the thickness of this. As I measured this, this was 13 millimeters. So, if you're doing with something else, which is not this Creality Scraper, just move your Z-axis to that height that you're using to level your bed. Okay, now the printer thinks he's on 13 millimeters away from the bed. When I place something that is 13 millimeters thick, I can assure myself that the nozzle is in correct position. You don't have to do this, I'm just showing you that you can use anything to level your bed. Even the paper, but consider the thickness of the paper is 0.1 millimeters. After I do this, it's ready to print. Make sure your bed is clean and don't ever touch it with your fingers because grease on your fingers can ruin your adhesion. Let's go. I made myself some leveling geco like a uh, YouTuber chap does it. Now let's see on five places, four corners in the middle. We are just making small squares, dimensions 20 by 20 millimeters, I think. I forgot to place the plastic back inside because I retracted it. This should be fine. As you can see, this one is perfect. It doesn't have any grooves and you can't see through it. I will let it finish. Maybe I'll speed up this part of the video and I'll show you later what we got here. That's it. I will remove just this one here. As you can see, it looks very nice. It's not transparent. It's shiny on one side, this side which was on the glass, the other side, as you can see here on the light. It's very nice. So that's it. Try it. Maybe it will help you. Bye bye.